Katie Hopkins, do you have any help in your eye to in the air? Do you know why we're here? Can you imagine why why you're here talking to a Welsh language programme on S4C? Well, you live in London, so you're pretty much a Brit, and I'm just talking to one of my British friends. You're aware how many people you've upset, offended, annoyed, antagonised? I mean, I think there was a lot of people from Wales emailing me about their problems that no one in Wales is listening to. You know, this is mums that are having to take their children out of school because of the issues with your schooling system. What's your obsession with the Welsh language? Why thrust it down the necks of kids that don't need it? And why are you so obsessed with this kind of need to keep a dead language alive? Why do you think the language is dead? What makes the language dead when there's living proof I think what makes your language dead who live and breathe it and use it. I think what makes your contests. language dead is that you have to introduce your government has had to introduce an arbitrary target which they literally plucked from the sky of a million Welsh speakers by 2050. No reason, no rationale, just plucked it from the sky because it might be one target they can actually throw enough money at to meet. What is more concerning, what you should be talking about, what your programme should be talking about, is the fact that Wales massively underperforms in education terms. Wales is the worst for schooling in the whole of the UK. You saw your PISA scores, the educational yeah, scores, and dreadful. Would, and people would not criticise you for raising big issues I'm about not worried that. if you are going to criticise But you made me. one connection. You put it all down to the Welsh language and yet many of us are living proof that actually speaking Welsh goes hand in hand with superior academic achievement. Why make the connection between Welsh medium education and educational underachievement? Because you probably saw the storm on Twitter of all the people you know, parading their academic credentials. I don't, I don't read Twitter storms. It's all just people in their yeah. own little thing talking to themselves. But I think but what we have to... you not believe that there are people who can achieve great success academically and in life and speak one of the oldest living languages in Europe. I believe the Welsh Government should be focusing on your massively underperforming schools. I think Leanne Woods and others have a great deal to answer for when they just throw another, we just the last week, £51 million aimed at more Welsh speakers in school for no reason. It's a language that's not spoken widely outside of Wales and if you want to tell me, oh yes but our kids are so much brighter because they can speak a couple of languages, pick a couple of useful ones please. And what I think you really need to look at is why your schools are failing and address that issue Please don't criticise one your, English lady who's come to highlight the problems that you've got. What's your concept of useful, utilitarian thing about the number of people you can communicate with it? Because if that, we'd all be speaking Mandarin or then Spanish. There'd be no room in the world for Italian. Why not force all Italians to speak Spanish? Because 65,000 people... We're not just talking about languages as a whole. We're talking about schools in Wales that have a problem with teaching children well, you seem the fundamentals. You seem surprised people can learn maths through the medium of Welsh. Why is that weird? Because people having learn spent time, the medium of Swedish, having spent time with mothers who have children with special educational needs, disabled children, yeah. they struggle with that additional language and then trying to learn and they've been forced out of your school system. And I think what we've seen from the results in your school system is that your schools are failing. And what strikes me is there's this sort of need for this nationalist fervour that Leanne Woods and others would push for because it will keep them in power and it's actually meaningless. Is this personal? You mentioned Leanne Woods many times. No, no, but I do point the finger of blame at individuals like her. If you hold yourself up as because leader... Because she doesn't speak Welsh. If you hold yourself up as leader, then clearly you are accountable for some of the funding decisions that you've made. So I would love it if she would put and funding she's towards children with special needs. And never taken any funding decisions either, because she's not in power. And I would love it if they put money towards children who are high performers in Wales. That would be a fantastic and thing. And they have a scheme to encourage state school kids in Wales to get into Oxford and Cambridge. But they don't look at making a target that says, let's make our they targets. They do have a target. Yeah, they, they have a target for a million. They have a target for and a, a million Welsh for getting speakers. Non -Welsh speakers. No, you didn't. You know what you did? You Wales. know what you did? You have some compulsively obnoxious syndrome where you just <laughs> have to upset people because that's the brand. <laughs> no, not at all. In fact, you know, I could show you now there's emails on my phone this morning telling me, thank you, Katie. Thank you for helping us be heard.